Hey everybody, it's Paul Macaluso here. I'm getting ready to enjoy this beautiful Las Vegas weather and take an evening stroll like I do about every night. Like about every night, not every night. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know some results that a private consulting client of mine was able to achieve based off of a three-part email sequential campaign that I put together for him last week. Um, ser letter one in the series went out and within 48 hours of that particular email going out they generated over seven thousand dollars worth of business and this this is not a real estate related business this is a traditional brick and mortar uh, it's actually a marine repair shop so when I get back from my walk, I'd like to take you guys through on the screen capture camera and break down the first part uh, in this email sequence that I put together and explain to you what I did and how I did it so you guys can get a better insight into actually what's going on here and how that $7,000 worth of business was actually generated within 48 hours. Um, it was it was pretty cool and the, uh, just a side note this guy's business is not used to getting emails from him at all I think he maybe sends one or two emails a year to his entire dat entire database if that so this is brand new to him he was very very reluctant into taking my advice uh, it was like pulling teeth so he was very very satisfied actually with the results that he's getting he was amped up about sending out the second email today in that three part series so this email actually went out to his personal database so these are past clients uh, but again it generated over seven thousand dollars worth of business for him so when i get back i'm gonna hop on the screen cam here and i'm gonna break down the email and exactly what it's all about and how i put it together and the whole psychology behind that actual email so stay tuned i'm gonna go take my walk and uh, i'll catch you guys on the flip side on the screen cam all right everyone i made it back safe and sound from the evening walk now let's dive into things here what you're looking at right now on your screen is the first letter in the three or excuse me the first email in the three part email sequence series that I put together for a private consulting client of mine who owns a marine a marine repair shop uh, basically what a marine repair shop is is they work on boats uh, they have a very large scope of services that they offer uh, but again they're a traditional brick and mortar business and what I'm about to show you can be applied across the board it's just pure direct response marketing and if you've been following me for a while you know that that's exactly what I am a direct response marketer specifically for real estate professionals however I do offer my private consulting to traditional brick and mortar businesses and entrepreneurs so what I'm gonna do is break down this letter for or this email I keep saying letter for some reason I'm gonna break down this email for you and we're gonna go through all the basic components of it so up here you see subject line obviously that's what this is it's the subject line so in my opinion subject lines can be used as either a headline or a pre headline depending on what it is you're looking to get across alright uh, so as you see it says are you ready with a question mark now again this guy's database is not used to getting emails from him so if you're asking this, these people a question and the email's coming from someone that you haven't really corresponded with much through email or aren't really used to getting emails from, it's definitely going to pique your interest. That's why I chose asking a question. And it's short and simple. Are you ready? Three words. Okay? So it basically piques the curiosity of the person that's looking at it. Now, unfortunately, these emails were being sent through Outlook they're not being sent through a CRM system or an autoresponder excuse me which basically can track the open and click through rate so I don't have that data available however uh, this did get a very very good response so again short sweet to the point are you ready peaking curiosity curiosity is an emotional trigger or psychological trigger rather uh, greetings and then right here that would be their name okay so summer is almost here right obviously they they know that so from the question here it's saying you know summer's almost here guys so obviously it relates directly to the subject line you always want to make sure your subject line and your first couple of sentences correspond with one another uh, if you have that out of whack like for example your subject line has nothing to do with what your first couple of sentences uh, are talking about in the email or letter or what have you chances of them 
going any further are slim to none because they've already lost interest they're already confused so you want to keep consistent with your message uh, are you and your boat ready for fun in the sun this season again there you're asking a question it's pretty much piggybacking off of the subject line here at VJ Marine we would like to make sure that you are again you're offering them something you're telling them you want to be there for them uh, preparing your boat for the summer is just as important as preparing it for the winter now if you're not familiar with boat care uh, there's what's called winterization just like in homes for example uh, if you go away for the winter time and you live in a very cold area you want to winterize that home uh, same thing with boats so we're keeping consistent again with we're here for you are you and your boat ready again so it says uh, VJ Marine has the experience and knowledge necessary to ensure you and your boat are ready for this season's activities we would like to do something special for you so again we're telling them we're here we're reiterating that point of we're here for you guys and we want to do something special so right there we're uh, peaking curiosity we're asking questions and we are also uh, providing them with an answer or what's going to lead into an answer now until June 20th we would like to provide all of our valued clients with a 10 percent discount on the following summer preparation services so that right there in itself is a, is a lot of stuff uh, psycholo psychologically um, you're giving them a deadline you're giving them an incentive and you're providing them with exclusivity okay then it goes down to list the services as you can see here as I mentioned above, the 10% discount is not for everyone and anyone. It is solely for our longtime valued clients, and this is only available for services scheduled before June 20th. Again, we're, we're hitting them back with that emotional trigger, or that psychological trigger, rather, of uh, an incentive. We're providing them something at a discount, and it's exclusive. It's not for everyone, and there's a deadline. These are all key elements of a great direct response piece of copy or marketing material rather so this is our way of saying thank you for your business the call to action call their phone number or email us today to schedule your summer preparation service before June 20th to receive the 10 percent discount again in the call to action you're telling them that this needs to be scheduled before a certain time to receive the incentive alright thank you once again Boom, another phone number. P.S. The sooner you call to schedule your service, the sooner we can get you and your boat on the water for this summer. Again, you're hitting them with the urgency. Urgency, uh, scarcity, uh, sense of belonging, exclusivity are all wrapped up in this email, and it's all laid out in a way that's very strategic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is something that I haven't really done for you guys. Um, so really take what I've said here, apply it to your businesses, and leave me a comment and let me, let me know what you guys thought about today's video because I'm thinking about doing more and more videos just like this, giving you guys real world examples of what's going on and how things are applying to other businesses and how you can use them in your own. So thanks for watching. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down on this video depending on how you feel. Hopefully you're going to give me the thumbs up and like it and share it with your uh, friends on Facebook and Twitter. If you're on my blog, do the same. Leave me a comment. Make sure you subscribe before you leave today. And thanks again, everyone, for watching. This is Paul with Real Estate Millennium Marketing. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.